Like, she really out here trying to sexy it up. <laughs> I guess this is a way to explain, you know, why she looking sexy every day. Like, you wasn't looking that way when her dad was in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on out here? You see, the kids are the ones that suffer uh, in these situations. Family break up, right? When the mother becomes single, they see everything that's going on. They see the changes. They see the changes that their mother is going through, the way that she dresses. Like, kids notice all of that. You can't hide that from kids. Kids know when the mother's dressing different, acting, and they, they notice it. What I want to know is this. When a lot of you women have a good man at home, why would you leave him? Is it because you're sexually frustrated? Do we have a we have frustration here? That has to be what it is. When you got these women, when you got these women who've been with the same guy for a lot of years, they've been together with almost 17 years. Right? Women get tired of that, especially when they have fame, when they have money, you know, when they have a large social media following, they get bored. And I saw women, and this is the sad thing. Yeah, this, this is her living her best life. <laughs> this is her living her best life. Whenever you have, all right, Cedric, cool. Appreciate the cash up, Cedric. When you have women like this, who clearly, and, and it's like, you know, they, they hate their image. Aisha Curry hated her image. And Aisha Curry wanted to change it. Why? I have no idea. Why do you want to, what, what would make you want to change your image? Because some, because you want to be like the other women on Instagram. Do you know what those women how those women have been ran through. Why would you want to be like them? And then you surround yourself with a bunch of single women who get into your ear and tell you what you can do and what you, that you shouldn't have to, you know, limit yourself and all this. Like, come on, man. That's what these single heifers do. They want to ruin marriages. And I want you guys to understand you guys that talk about you going to marry a virgin understand man it's gonna come a time when she's she's gonna want to explore i think tia wants to explore she wants to get out there and she wants to explore different men that's gonna happen when, when a woman's been married for a lot of years it may come a point to where she want to change and what you gonna do then you i want to marry a virgin when she never got to experience being single and dating, doesn't mean she had to be a slower, but I'm talking about when a woman's been with a guy as long as she has. And then she she see the, the growth of, of social media, the growth of being able to, to post a picture and get all these likes and comments. Now you can put gifts in the comment section, which is a huge mistake on Instagram's part. Why would you do that? Like Instagram, why would you do that? That's the stupidest. Why, why would you do that? Why, you, you're making the platform look cheap, okay? Leave the gifts to Twitter, all right? Instagram should be for comments alone, not gifts. Like, what are you doing? Anyway, comment says don't look the same no more. But um, women like her who've been married for a long time, they're gonna they're gonna want to see what's out there. It's not going to be fast. It's going to be a slow progression. They're going to start dressing a little bit differently. They're going to be posting a little bit more. They're going to be conscientious of what men say. Right? They're going to like before they didn't really care what men thought. They were married, right? But but now they're going to start to care more. Okay? <laughs> and a lot of you married men, man, y'all in trouble. <laughs> a lot of you married men in trouble. Now these women want to be Rihanna now, even uh -huh. though they're older than Rihanna man face palming dark skin tone. Appreciate that, Stephen. Right. <laughs> right. Right. And they got more kids than her. Jade Black keeping doing great content full score. Thank you, Jabari. Appreciate that, man. 
You married men who've been married to women for more than 10 years plus, y'all in trouble, man. Y'all can't, y'all can't compete with this beast called social media. All right? You can't. Like, if a woman knows that she can get an OnlyFans and she can support herself, that's a game changer. Look at Kim, Kim Bella. I made a video about Kim Bella, Kim Bella today. You know, she has an OnlyFans and she separated herself from Jewel's, right? Because she has her own money. She don't need him for anything. She don't. And when women don't need a man for anything and they look around, they say, why not be single? And then a lot of you guys been married to women for what, 10, 15 years. You don't, you, especially if your wife looking good, right? <laughs> your wife out here getting some attention. Listen, man, I right, listen. This is why I steer clear of marriage because marrying a woman nowadays is a, is a mistake. It's a mistake. Now I see guys continuing to make it. Okay. I'll see you down the road when that divorce happens. Okay. I saw where there was this actress that married a guy that she was in a long-term relationship with. She was with, she was in a long-term relationship with this guy. And then they got married and they got divorced after about two years. I mean, <laughs> these women cannot let the streets go. And then you got women who've never been in the streets who are curious about these streets. Why? I have no idea. I have no idea. And then it ain't the, it ain't the women who y'all think it is. It's the ice angle. Well, not yet. <laughs> not yet. But here you got the, um, you got the Tia Maoris of the world. These are the women, the ones that y'all don't expect who want to be out here in these streets. They want to be out here in these streets. I mean, y'all can't, you, you male, you niggas can't compete with that. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, let me retract that. You bros can't compete with that, man. Y'all can't, no matter how hard you try. Why do you think you seeing an increase in men taking the lives of their wives because these women want out and these men don't want these women to have out to get out. These men are investing so much in these marriages and they're finding out it means nothing. Your thoughts on marrying within the church instead of the state. You should have them all see. Um, I mean, it could work. You have something in common. I mean, marrying in the church, marrying within the church can, could, I guess, work because y'all have something in common, which is faith. If you got faith in common, I think that can really help. Um, it's better than trying to marry somebody that you don't really have anything, you know, no, uh, nothing of interest in that you both truly believe in. But I mean, it could work, you know, just depends on certain circumstances. I'm not, I'm not here to tell y'all it could never work, but you know, it could work. Try it out. If you, you know, <laughs> I'll, all I can tell you is to, to do do for yourself. I'm not here to tell y'all what you can and can't do with your life. I've never been that type of guy. But I mean, if that's something that you want to try and do, go for it. Because you have something in common that you're deeply passionate about, which is faith, which can bring anybody together. Faith brings a lot of different people from different backgrounds together. And it's one belief that you both have. And it's not a changing belief. It's a solid belief. That's why people who are non-religious link up with each other. You have people who have non-religious views that link up with each other, right? Look at Aaron Rodgers and any, any woman that he dates has like some non-religious views. <laughs> but but it never works because Aaron Rodgers is very aloof. Very aloof. But we are in different days, ladies and gentlemen. It's different out here. It's very different out here. And y'all got to be careful, man. And I'm I'm not here to, to tell, to scare anybody. But I'm just saying, a lot of you married men, um, watch out. Watch out. Because the these stories that I see of these married men taking the lives of their wives, it is because they realize that all they've done for her, it means nothing. She still wants out. She still thinks that she can do better than him. And that is true. A lot of these women feel that way. That's why I, I believe, honestly, you got to talk to the people that you're married to or in relationships with. You have to figure out what they really believe in, what they want to do. You got to talk to these people. Because if you don't talk to them, 
you know they it, it you know you you'll get to a point of no return make sure y'all like the stream so we'll tell everybody this here but um yeah man she's out here really trying to, to sexy it up and it's like I, i'm i hope i mean i hope for the best for her because she seemed like a nice person but you need to put your family back together man shout out to divine by the year 2030 more western women will be alone it seems like it seems like it it really does appreciate it like what are y'all looking for can y'all tell me what y'all looking for But yeah, it, um, listen, I think women need to be honest. If you're looking for a casual situation, then say that. Like if you want multiple men, a lot of these women want multiple men. You got women that want to be married with a boyfriend on the side. Yes, y'all do. Y'all want to be married and you want to have a boyfriend on the side. Just say it. I mean, I saw where this woman got two husbands. So it's possible. It's possible. You got women out here with multiple husbands. It is very possible for you to get married. I must I with all these simps. I mean, it's is is easy. I'm mean, easy, but you know, there's an opportunity for you to have it. Women talk about men having families and women on the side all the time. It's almost like a competition thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like a competition thing. They want to have a, a they want to have a side dude and a husband and a family. Especially if they make more money than you dudes. And I be telling y'all that if your woman is making more money than you, she's going to want more in her life. More than you can give her. I don't care if you knew her since high school. She's going to want more. Because she's the one, she's the breadwinner. She... Didn't Gabrielle Union say it? Gabrielle Union said out loud, what a, what a, what a, I think a solid number of women are doing currently. They are in relationships and they're having other relationships outside of that because they are the breadwinners. I don't understand why you dudes are so comfortable dating women that make more make money than you, especially like if she's taking care of you. I could see where. You worth a woman that makes more money than you, but you make a lot of money yourself. But a lot of you dudes are nowhere near them financially. Nowhere near them. You one argument away from staying at your mama's house. That's how destitute, destitute you are. And if you don't think that these women don't have side dudes, you're really out of your mind. 